When working with calendar entries, you can mark an entry as the source of a new time slip. When you mark an entry for slip creation, two new controls appear for the calendar entry. First, you can have Sage Time Slips remind you to create a slip from the entry. Second, the Create Slip button appears so you can create a slip from the entry at any time. You can specify default values for client, reference, and task to use when creating the slip. Many of the other fields from the calendar entry will also be used as defaults on the slip you create. We'll point those fields out when we create the slip. You can review the pending slips for all timekeepers to verify all billable charges are ready for billing. A new security right can limit access to this list. If you chose to create a reminder for the entry and you have not already created the slip, after the meeting time passes a reminder will appear on your reminder list. You can review the original calendar entry or create the slip right from the reminder. The dates and times from the calendar entry will determine the date, start time, and time spent on the slip. Notes, subject, and location fields will be included in the slip description. The timekeeper associated with the calendar entry and the names on the slip creation tab will be used for names on the slip. You'll be able to change any of these fields on the slip at any time. When you save the new slip, a new field appears that lets you jump to the original calendar entry. The original calendar entry will also include a link to the new slip.